What's up everybody? I'm going to show you today my alcohol stove that I made recently. Actually this one here I, have, I made a little while back. But this is my older version of the copper coil stove. Uh, I made a new one because I didn't really like the feel in it there. And the capacity only holds like half an ounce. So I made one a little bit bigger and I changed up the uh, the fuel inlet that I've seen on other videos. So it just screws in there like that and it works real nice. But it's the copper coil with the, uh, the single hole. And this here it will hold maybe an ounce, an ounce and a half maybe. So it's a lot better. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to light it up here for you to show you how it works. Uh, I'm using heat in it. I use my old uh, contact solution bottles to hold my alcohol. It works really well with the uh, screw on lid and a nice nice little spout that squirts out. I've got my alcohol in here in this one ounce bottle. It holds exactly one ounce so it helps me measure stuff and it has this nice little spout. But uh, it's only about a quarter full. I'm not going to use much here just to show you a quick little video. You unscrew the screw and fill it up a little bit. See it's not a, not a lot in there. Screw your screw back in so it makes a nice seal and seals it off. And then you're going to take squirt a little bit down here like that use your friendly everyday zippo to light it up and now it's burning it's going to heat up that coil vaporize the alcohol and it's going to start blowing out there If you're interested in how to make one of these stoves, there's plenty of videos. Some of them show you how to make them out of glass jars. I made mine out of soda can bottoms because that's just more readily available to me. And uh, and just JB, JB welded everything together instead of using pipe fittings and stuff. There, the stove is uh, completely heated up. It's self-sustaining now. I've got this can here I drilled the crap out of to make a kind of a windscreen type thing and a pot holder. It fits right over it like that. I got my pot here with a little water on it. And sit it on it like that. that I'm using here is a, uh, a Mexican grease catcher that I found at Walmart. Uh, it's just like a what they call a grease pot, you know. I believe it's made out of aluminum and uh, it works really well. I wrapped some uh, some cotton twine around the handle to make it fire resistant, you know. Uh, heat resistant really, not fire resistant. It'll burn like crap. But anyways, uh, there it is. It's burning pretty well. The bottom of this stove, you know, doesn't really get hot. It's more of the fires up here heating up the coil, you know. It's kind of running low. It's starting to run out of alcohol now because I didn't really put a lot in there. And then it starts burning like that. And it doesn't really... I can talk a little quieter because it's not really... It's not really loud anymore. That's pretty neat. And it'll burn like that for about another minute or two until it completely burns out all the alcohol. But anyways, that's my stove and I hope you enjoyed it.